Right, there's no way, guys. There's no way he wins this. It's done. Like, this is not fair. This is not fair. Dude. Like, what is he supposed to do? Today, the brand new card, the Goblin Drill, has been released to the public in the challenge. Obviously, today's video is going to be coming out a little bit later. We are 6-0, and oh, but as you know, the Goblin Drill got unlocked at 6 wins. We immediately got that, and we started building some decks here today, guys. We have two Electro Giant decks and two Log Bay decks here with this deck, because I'm pretty sure I'm vibing with it with the Electro Giant, guys. It's a really strong combo. Maybe it's just because both cards are extremely broken. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, I'd say the card is fairly good. If you don't have an answer for it in your deck, you're going to lose. That's the type of vibe it is, guys. I do want to say thank you for tuning in. If you guys like the content lately, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's free, easy, and you can always change your mind later. But nonetheless, guys, deck number one. Look at it here. We got a nice goblin drill deck here with the uh, prince rascals goblin gang bats you got the poison spell in here i understand fireball's really meta but i've been having a lot of luck with the poison guys let's get after it, guys deck number one here we're going in game number one battle number one we're against brandon lee from the clan red bull good luck man guys the furnace is insanely good with the poison spell obviously the poison spell is good in here because um you're going to be going against a lot of decks like this he does have fireball so we'll see which wins poison or the fireball my money's on poison guys let's go rascals here in the back this is going to be a solid defense this deck is incredibly strong he just goes for a fire spirit there thanks for the free damage buddy our fire spirit is going to uh, trade out right there we got rascals moving up i'll show you guys exactly the best place to put goblin, uh, goblin drill right here is going to be excellent guys we're going to go bats as well over the bridge he decides to log that's gonna be a bad idea guys because look at this deck we're gonna be able to spam he has to go with a cannon in the back on defense the uh fire spirit there he's actually pretty lucky with that um getting all of the goblins with one decent play guys if he did not play that perfectly it would have been a lot more damage for sure we're gonna go rascals over here the rascals are gonna be good he decides nice to go all the way in the back i don't think he's gonna get any damage with this guys the placement there on the rascals was excellent placing your card in the back against these things it's strong definitely the way to go we're gonna go furnace once again if he wants to fireball that be my guest he's gonna be a little bit behind on elixir though i believe nice the fight speed's getting shots off we have the lead here today brandon lee you're gonna need to make something happen man we're gonna go for a goblin drill right here since he just went with that i don't think he's gonna have the best answer for this we will find out though and we do have enough elixir to uh, back this up even he goes cannon is cannon good against it i don't think so buddy look at how much damage we got with the uh, guys nice so much damage being dealt. Our Goblin Gang is going to flawlessly defend this thing once again. Nearly. Ne nearly. All right, he's going to get a couple shots. That's completely fine. We can Rascals or Prince this. I think we're going to go for a Prince, guys. I don't think he's going to be able to defend this very easily. Let's go. Prince, he's going to have to spend some Elixir on this. This deck is definitely a little heavier, though, but if you're playing it right, I mean, you're going to crush. He goes Cannon here. We're going to go for the Poison Goblin Drill combo. If he places anything inside of it, guys, it's going to get poisoned. He should go in the front with it. Why is he going all the way in the back? This man's confusing me. He decides to fireball. We're just going to furnace this. The rascals absolutely crush that thing. We are up a tower right now. I don't even know how we took the tower. We will take it, though. Oh, my. He's going all in, guys. The bats are going to crush, though. The bats do a pretty solid job of dealing with it. Obviously, they don't get killed by the thing when it spawns, and the bats are going to overwhelm, overall swarm it up. We got a bunch of stuff going down. I knew he was going to log right there, so we go goblins in the middle. We got our drill popping up. The musketeer is going to die. As you can see, this deck is absolutely crushing right now. He just went one unit skeletons. We're about to take two towers, and there's barely any time left in this battle for him to come back, guys. The prince is charging. The goblins are swarming. The bats are down. Dominant performance here by this deck, even though he had the broken card as well. We absolutely crushed there with this deck here today. All the deck links are going to be down below as well. So, deck number one, it's out of the way. That was an awesome game. Thank you very much for playing, Brandon. Here it is once again. Deck number two of the day is an Electro Giant beatdown deck. This deck is insane although it does have a weakness lava hound balloon you're gonna die to it but not many people are running that these days electro giant guys it's excellent with the lightning spell in here the dark goblin princess if you really are worried about lava hound i guess maybe you could swap in a mega minion for like the princess or something but either way like i really like this deck very strong beat down deck with the brand new goblin drill Alrighty, guys, we have Electro Giant in starting hand. We're not going to do him first play, though. We're just going to Dark Goblin here. Got to play really slow, obviously. If you get behind that Elixir too much, it's going to be real bad. So he just let that go, actually. We're going to go Princess in the back and Skeleton Army this. We have to place the Skeleton Army after it deploys, obviously, because it would kill the Skeletons there. Otherwise, though, we do falsely defend that. We'll see. If he logs this, we'll be able to go in. But no, okay, that's going to be good for our Princess. Princess can take down these Spear Goblins. One shot, easy clap. He goes bandit here. We have to elite barbs this, guys. We have to elite barbs this. All right, we'll take it all down with the e-barbs there. Um, we'll see what he's got in store. So he's going rascals. 
kind of want a lightning it, but you know what? We're gonna let these e-bobs do their thing. They will take it down a great portion of these rascals right here, taking down the big guy, and uh, the small people do survive. Let's go. We're gonna go mini Pekka right here. I think we're feeling pretty good about this one. We're gonna Dark Goblin as well. See what's going on with the Dark Goblin. He goes Cannon Cart in the back. The Dark Goblin's gonna get even more chip damage off, guys. Just by placing the Dark Goblin, we've done a bunch of damage, almost a thousand damage done. Um, so we're gonna cycle here. We're gonna go Princess. We're gonna go Skarmy. We do crush. The princess was a nice thought. We have to goblin drill on defense here, guys. We do cr absolutely crush his uh, goblin drill, though, and our goblin drill should be fine. Our tower, we didn't let the... Uh, yeah, this is not the best, actually. His princess is alive still. Yikes. Nice. Our princess is sniping at all, though. Should have mini pekka on our princess. His bandit's gonna get shots off, but he might not have elixir to defend this mini pekka, guys. He barely sneaks down some rascals, and because of his bandit, he takes the lead there. Very well played, sir. Let's go Dark Goblin here. We're playing this a little bit too aggro, honestly. Four one times elixir, but you know what? We gotta make some risks here. We gotta make some risks. Dark Goblin's gonna chip all of that down. Nice. All right. We do not have the lead, but I'm feeling confident, guys. If you are, if you have your towers going into two times elixir, there's almost a guaranteed chance you're winning as long as you don't choke or something. Because this Electro Giant E Barb's push with everything in there, actually broken, guys. Let's go Elite Barb's here. He probably expected us to go Skarmy. Not gonna see one though. That's big. Go Electro Giant, guys. Electro Giant right in front of these E-Barbs. He's going to be freaking out. There's no, almost no way to defend this, especially when the Lightning spells down. Let's go with all this. We are ready to go for the Lightning as well. Electro Giant's just moving up, guys. It's just moving up. So much damage is about to be seen. Let's Lightning. Let's go Electro Giant. So big, guys. So much damage being dealt right here. As you can see, we have the lead once again. Electro Giant's almost taken the tower down. Huge. Let's go Princess of our own here. Nice, they should trade out. They really should. We're gonna go Skeleton Army here. Our mini Pekka's clutch. Our mini Pekka's actually so clutch. Let's go, mini Pekka. As you can see, we can literally take his tower with our lightning spell. And that's why I say, guys, this deck is good. All you gotta do is keep your towers in one times and you win. You win. Simple as that. Oh wow. Oh wow. He actually defends that. Let's go goblin drill here. We will take his tower as long as the goblins get one shot. Please don't choke this. Please don't choke this. Skeleton army, go. He snowballs. It's not enough. That's good game, sir. Let's go. That was a good match. He actually had a decent counter to us. Um, he had a little bit of a bridge spam in there, which is not the easiest thing when you have a beat down deck, but that we did it, guys. We did it. Deck number three on the day is a much cheaper Electro Giant Goblin Drill deck. You also have the Lightning in here, but you also have both Spirits to keep this deck super versatile. Lots of fun to play with. Let's get into it here. Hopefully, we're able to get another dub. I mean, we're doing well today. All right, guys. N2K. What's going on, man? We're going to go Princess here. He goes Ice Spirit. We're going to mirror that with an Ice Spirit of our own. Let's see. He goes one unit skeletons. That's big. Our Princess is going to survive this. Oh my goodness, Princess. She does retarget. We're just going to go e in the back. This is a much quicker pace. Um, Electro Giant deck here. Everyone's using the new card, which is pretty fun, obviously. Let's see how our Electro Giant's going to do, though. Um, he's got a cannon. We're going to we're gonna early bats. Get that cannon out of here. And the guards in front with the Lightning and Goblin Joe, guys. You're guaranteed damage. Once again, we're going to let this Musketeer go for a little bit here. He's going to give us some nice Lightning value, it looks like. We'll find out. Or not. Honestly, we're just going to let this go. We're going to Lightning this now, actually. We're going to Lightning this. Nice. We do catch a... Like, oh, Musketeer survives. She's going to get taken down by the Electro Giant, though. That's actually insane, dude. He just killed an entire Musketeer by himself. Are you serious? And another Musketeer just took another hit. This seems unfair. Completely unfair. Now, we probably should have used the new card here. The guards are going to do a great job, though. Musketeer... Sorry. Princess goes down to the log. The Musketeer will get one shot by the guard. Let's go. Let's go, Goblin Drill. He just logged. We're sending it up here, guys. He's probably going to have to cannon this or go with something crazy. We're going to use a Fire Spirit to um, push with it. Let's go. Fire Spirit nearly splashes. I was hoping he'd use those one unit skeletons. He does, but it's a little late, and we're going to take tower, guys. This card is too easy. Very low skill gap. I mean, if you just place it in the front, you're going to get damage pretty much guaranteed. It's very easy to use, guys. And this Electro Giant deck, it's a lot more versatile. I highly recommend it. The Princess with the Electro Giant and new card is awesome. A lot of value being seen here with the Princess. I think this is, might be one of the best metas the Princess is in i'm not gonna lie just because of the new card she's great with it um he, we do see a fireball here let's go bats let's go kind of want to uh cycle to this new card just to make sure we have an answer for his hog rider obviously he's basically using hog 2.6 it looks like um so we're just gonna lightning this i mean he's going cannon for no reason we do kill the ice spirit you'll love to see it he's probably gonna hog rider we're gonna get ready to go for a goblin drill there it is it's coming in the goblin drill i think it's gonna be able to counter all of this all by itself so we're just gonna go electro giant we're really banking on this new card guys he fireballs a little early, buddy. The goblins are still alive. The hog is going to get a little bit of shots off, but we're going to try and push up here with 40 seconds left and absolutely crush this man's dreams. Princess in the back. Let's go. What do you got, Princess? He's cycling to another hog rider. We're simply going to fire spirit this. Go with some bats in the back. I mean, we're chilling. We're chilling. We're going to go goblin drill here. 
We got two Electro Giants about to be down. There's no way he wins. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no way, guys. There's no way he wins this. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? We have two Electro Giants. Bats, goblins all over the place. The new card is just too much. Two Hog 26 is done, Zo man. It's done. Like, this is not fair. This is not fair. Like, what is he supposed to do? He couldn't have done anything, guys. The new card, two Electro Giants, a Princess. It's over. Good game. Thank you very much for playing. But uh, that was basically a three crown. We're counting that as a three crown. Holy crap. GG's. Sorry to do that to you. <laughs> the fourth and final deck here today, guys, is another log bait. As you can see, we got the Bandit, Goblin Drill, Princess, the Spear Gobs, Cannon Cards, the Goblin Drill, and the Rascals in here. This is a very fun deck to play. Let's get into it. We're going to go Princess first play. We got Lit Fabio here. What's he got in store, guys? We probably could Bandit this. We're going to be patient with it, though. The Cannon Cards going to come down here and actually do some solid bits for us. Dark Prince getting lit up. Hopefully, the Cannon Card survives. Nice. Let's go, Cannon Card. We're going to bandit in front of this, guys. We're going to be aggressive here. He goes with a Mega Minion. The Cannon Card's going to get in range if he's not careful. Nice. Cannon Card's getting a bunch of extra value there. He definitely did not want that, guys. He definitely did not want that. The Cannon Card almost kills the Goblin Brawler. Are you kidding me? The Goblin Brawler's going to go down. Mega Minion's going to die. Let's go. Let's go for a uh, Goblin Brawler here. We probably are looking at Electro Giant. This will be a great test, guys, because obviously a lot of Electro Giants are in the game right now. Lots of people playing them. So if we can beat Electro Giant with this deck, that is a great answer. Or a great, um, it's great something. I did not expect a graveyard. Oh my goodness, the Rascals all die off. We do have to Snowball here. Snowball is absolutely clutch. We would have just lost our tower. Holy crap. We did not play that well. I did not expect a graveyard, that's for sure. Um, and he's got Dark Prince. Interesting. He's probably going to Dark Prince. Uh, okay, nice. He goes for a Mega Minion there. Let's go for some split up spear gobs. They're gonna take out this Mega Minion beautifully. Mega Minion's coming over. Easy kills there. Spear gobs are all gonna go to the right. Hopefully, we're gonna get some nice tower damage with that. Let's go with this. We're gonna bandit right here for the Dark Prince. Bandit should be pretty clutch. Huge bandit, huge. We actually get a lot of damage off with that uh, Goblin Goblin Barrel as well. Bandit's gonna dash here, kill this, and then hopefully dash to the tower really quick. Let's go, Bandit. Oh, she goes down. That does suck. That sucks. All right, let's go Rascals here. Rascals are going to be much better here in this situation. The baby Dragon, guys. The splash damage is actually really, really strong, um, but it is going to get taken down. Nice. That was a really solid uh, interaction right there. Let's go Goblin Drill. Double Elixir is about to be upon us. Princess is going to get some value here if he's not careful. Um, and yeah, the Princess, guys. It's going to be solid. He doesn't have an answer for this. He might have to Barbarrel. In which case, we go Goblin Barrel deep. He's going to Barbell that. Oh my goodness, man. He Barbells. We, he does not get the, uh, the Goblin Barrel because of that. And that is Tower. All we have to do is defend. It's not going to be super easy to defend, but being a Tower up is awesome. He's got Double Prince Graveyard. We're going to make sure to keep our Spear Gobs in cycle. He's about to go Graveyard. I'm sure of it. He's got to get something done. Spear Gobs are going to be really solid for us on defense. We're looking good here, guys. We are looking good all around. Countering everything let's go princess in the back the rascals um are gonna get a lot of nice bits in here let's go bandit just to tank for everything the candy card even helps out a little bit there and we crush on defense right there guys that's gonna be it 12 seconds left thank you very much for playing late fabio that was an awesome day lots of good battles if you are gonna use any of these decks make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to show your support but it was a lot of fun here today i do like the new card even though it's insanely strong it's definitely fun when you're using it not as fun when it's clapping you know but either way just make sure to take some counters these decks do have a pretty easy time with it but yeah this was deck number four of the day the final one once again deck number one was the furnace prince log bait deck and deck number one was the electro giant beatdown or deck number two sorry deck number two was the electro giant beatdown deck number three was the electro giant spam and deck number four the final deck of the day was the goblin drill log bait deck with the rascals and cannon card in here lots of fun today make sure to subscribe if you guys did end up enjoying but hopefully you guys are all staying safe thank you for watching master diddy san